Even though I could not see or hear anything, I could sense the world losing patience with me. But still, I needed to communicate. So, did you guys want to order, or do you need some more time? I tried everything I imagined Helen must have tried. Clapping, charade-style clues, guttural moaning. Surely mm -hmm. one of these tools commonly used by the disabled would do the trick. Mm -hmm. Sounds like... But on a day when I wanted to be taken to see my ex-wife, I was instead robbed of my shoes. On a day when I wanted a light snack, I was instead given a pen. On a day when I wanted to play catch with my son Eric like I used to, I was instead brought to a drugs party. And finally, on a day when I wanted to be taken for a stroll outside, I was troublingly brought to court where I was facing trial for murder. My caretakers had failed me spectacularly. This was the worst possible time to be deaf, dumb, and blind. Mm -mm. Right. And what is your relationship with your ex-husband? I was unable to discuss anything with my lawyer. He's my ex-husband. Who made the questionable decision to call my ex-wife as a character witness. During the time of your marriage, did he bring you flowers or pay you compliments? Um, yes, he did. He did stuff like that? Yes. Oh, well, he sounds like a really nice guy, doesn't he? No further questions, Your Honor. While everyone tried to ignore the presence of a grunting visitor from the 19th century, Suzanne was asked if she thought I would commit murder for the show. No, I don't. He is overly committed to his work, but he's not so committed that he would actually kill somebody. And then, unbeknownst to me, my lawyer made an even more perplexing decision. The defense would like to call Forrest McNeil. This way, ma'am. There we go. We had always planned for Forrest McNeil to testify. Down. 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 My attorney saw no reason to change course, despite the fact that Forrest McNeil was now Helen Keller. Thank you for coming to testify today, Mr. McNeil. I'm going to come There is right much the Forrest chase. McNeil could have said in his own defense. Is it true that that guy Ray attacked you first? Indeed, it was true. Ray, Forrest? the man who was killed, Did was a violent sociopath. Oh, 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 God. Can I get out of here? A man oh, who would God. surely have been killed by somebody oh, someday. You did this in self defense. Is that true, Forrest? Say yes. Just say yes. The answer was yes. I had no doubt Ray was beating me to death. You did this in self-defense. Is that true? All you have to do is say yes. Say yes. But Helen could not answer, even if she had known she was testifying to save my life. OK, Forrest, come here. If only my attorney had tried harder to remove my helmet or had not called me to the stand at all. Oh, my God. Ma'am. Sit in your seat. I will handcuff you to this chair. Yeah, I think we got to go back to the seats. Being in constant need of assistance made it clear that in okay, life... Be careful. All right. But it's good enough for me. We are surrounded by people who do not fully apply themselves to their duties. As a result, I was not able to exonerate myself. And review once again left my fate in the hands of fate. Living as Helen Keller was an isolating experience that required trust, perseverance, and a high tolerance for minor abrasions. She was a remarkable woman, and for a little while, so was I. I give being Helen Keller five stars.